another uh, poor air quality day on tap for today. It's going to uh, begin to improve here soon, hopefully. But uh, for now, uh, if you're sensitive to that kind of thing, you want to stay outside during the peak hours of the day. Absolutely. Right? Last night, the first episode of a six-part unscripted documentary series about the death of Trayvon Martin aired on BET. Ashley Williams in our control room this morning, breaking down the first installment. Good morning. Hi, good morning. You know, I had an opportunity to watch last night, and it was very emotional. It's hard to believe that it was only six years ago that Trayvon Martin was, in fact, shot killed by neighborhood watchman George Zimmerman, who, as we know, was acquitted in that death. Now, this documentary takes a look at what happened the night of uh, Trayvon Martin's death, the trial, and then what followed after that, which we know were protests and really the rise of Black Lives Matter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Hey, what's his name? Trayvon Martin. Back for police department. Hey, there's a real suspicious guy. How many more kids will we wait for them to kill? My tears collected like raindrops on a windowsill. This kid. Now, in last night's episode, we really had a chance to meet Trayvon and really see how he was as a teenager, as a 17 year old, um, you know, growing up in Florida. We also heard those chilling 911 calls, and as you can imagine, Following that first episode, Twitter full of reactions, especially by uh, celebrities. I want to go ahead and read some of those. Amber DuVernay tweeted, Watching Trayvon Martin's story tonight on BET, here it picks up where 13th left off about Florida's disastrous Stand Your Ground scheme and promises to explore the life and loss of a young man much loved and much missed. Uh, Colin Kaepernick also had something to say. He shared this photo of Trayvon's family and then he wrote, I got to meet two of my heroes today, Sabrina Fulton and Tracy Martin, who have endured immense pain to share their son, Trayvon Martin's story with us. Even through tragedy, their strength and resilience never wavered Trayvon's spirit and with us as the fight continues. Regina King also said, they say time heals all wounds. It has not. Jesse Smollett also tweeted last night or wrote on Instagram, last night I flew into NYC and saw episode one of six of Rest in Power, the Trayvon Martin story, and my mind is still blown. Things we knew, things we didn't. Such an important project. Catch it tonight. Is, and he went on to, of course, promote this six-episode series. Now, I want to talk about Tracy Martin and producer Jenner First, who appeared on CBS this morning, just yesterday, and they had an opportunity to share with viewers why they really wanted to put this project out. Take a look. I think uh, the importance of this was to uh, show the country that um, we need social change. Uh, there are a lot of social injustices occurring in our communities and, and the problem needs to be rectified. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Jenner first, also producer on the film. I think that, you know, the hope with a series like this is that it can be a teaching tool, mm -hmm. that people can watch it, and if they're affected by it, if what they see they feel is wrong, they can use their civic duty of voting to change the story. And I think what's happening here is when you put these types of stories on the small screen or the big screen, conversation happens, dialogue happens, and that's what we're seeing here. Also, it's worth noting that producers reached out to George Zimmerman multiple times, and he never responded. Back over to you guys. All right, okay, Ashley Williams, live for us. Thanks for that. All right, it seems like yesterday that happened. I know, hard to believe it's been six years, yeah.